Hello, e-scooter friends. Welcome to another video of WMA here on YouTube. Thanks again for switching in. And in this video, I'm going to show you something I got asked for a very, very long time. And I was not able to show it because I didn't have like a new G30. So I want to do it in that video. And good news for all of you, everybody that has like a 9 bot G30 is able now in November 2024 to tune his scooter. And no matter which firmware you have on there, probably the most of you would have like 1.8 point something. And the good news is I can show you now one or like two methods how you can tune your scooter. Let's, let's start right into it. We have like two versions to tune the scooter and it's like the ST-Link. Probably some of you might have heard it. It's a bit more difficult because we have to like hack the controller and like build it out and then take like a USB stick, flash it. And this is not what I want to talk about in this video. In this video, I want to show you probably the most easy version that is possible at the moment. And this is like uh, hacking the scooter with a tuning chip. And if, before we start into the video, everything we do change now on the scooter will cause that you will lose the, uh, the warranty and the scooter will also not be street legal anymore. And everything that we change besides hardware or the, um, or the software could cause any damages. So just be aware of that. These chips are tested for a long, long time and the software on there is, is in my opinion, very secure. But I just want to let you know that everything you change could cause a problem. So let's start right into it. This chip comes from allesescooter.com. This site is specialized to tuning chips and good news, these chips are available for the G30, G2 and also will be available for the F2 series, no matter if Pro, Plus or just the base model. And you will be able to get your scooter over 30 uh, kilometers per hour. You will have more power and more speed, but at the end, the, the software is made like pretty secure. So you should be able to use the scooter on a daily basis. Let's just show it. I will put the, the links to the controllers also in the video description so you have the direct way to the distributor. So we can open the package. This is how you will receive it. The plastic bag. And in there you have the chip. The chip is mounted um, and down um, besides the, the controller and the batteries. The first ones were like mounted in the steering pole. The new ones are mounted now exactly right on the controller. I will show you later on how to remove and how to plug the, uh, the chip in. So you get the chip. You just need to remove like um, two pins and then the, the chip will be just like put like in the middle and uh, will change the information the, that the scooter receives. And you also get like a manual where you get uh, all the information, how to install, how it works, and also um, the two uh, controller types, uh, how you plug the controller in there, uh, how you plug the chip in there. So from this side, I think it's a, it's a genius way to tune the scooter. It costs like, uh, I guess like $69.99. I bought it myself. I didn't get it like sponsored, but uh, as, as always, if I like a product and if, I'm, if, I'm the, if I have the opinion that the company does a very good job, I like to promote it and to support them. And I'm pretty happy that uh, you are also now able to tune your scooter. The chip costs like $69.99, so almost 70 euros. Yes, it is a big amount of money, but at the end, I, I can tell you it is worth it. At the end, you have to understand that they need to produce the chip. They also need to do the development and also the research that it works at the end. And they also put the software on there and you get like a good service and also after sales if there is anything. So from my side, I can definitely recommend it. And um, at this point, I would be more than happy if you leave a thumbs up, put a sub to the channel. I would be happy if it grow, start, uh, continues growing. I can. Uh, continue um, produce these videos for you and uh, if you have any questions or maybe also your ideas to the chip and also to the tuning that you tried before put it down in the comments would love to hear from you and at this point I would say we start right into the video and I will now show you that I will put the scooter to the latest version so that the uh, tuning definitely works. So now I will start the app the original 9bot app and I will show you that I um, put the scooter to the latest version and uh, that everybody knows that it really works. So just uh, open the app, switch on the scooter. There's my SETI 3 Pro. We will add another one. There is the G30. Now it says like there's a new firmware found. We we'll, we'll just go to update and there you see master control 1.8.11. So the latest version that is out there. Now we will just now update it. So let's start right into it. I turned the scooter around. Now you will see I already loosened some of the screws. 
um, but we will just like finish with the last two. To open this, you will need now a T15 Torx. And the important thing is that you have this little hole in the middle so that you can open the screws. I will just now open the last two. If you open the cover the first time, there is some glue under it. So you need to like pull it slightly from this side and then you will see how the, the glue loosens. The, the important thing is don't rip it, just like go slowly and then you can just remove the cover. Now in here you see the battery, there is the controller and there is the uh, AC adapter, so for the charging. We will now need to uh, remove the controller so that makes it easier to plug into um, to the, in the controller. But don't worry, the only like um, warranty um, seal is here on the um, connected to the battery. So we can just like open it. You just need like an imbus and uh, we will open the two screws left and right. Now we're already done. Now we can just like lift up the controller. And now the only thing we need to do is remove these two cables. That one goes to the battery and that one goes to the dashboard. They're pretty tight. So but just like go in there with your finger, put down the clip, pull it out. Simple as it is. Now I can just lift up the controller a bit more. Now we just take the, um, the tuning chip. It's over here. And now it's pretty easy. So the bigger one goes into that one. The battery smaller one goes into this. And now the only thing we need to do is plug it into the controller again. I don't know if you can see it from that perspective. Just put it in there, already plugged in, and the last one. So, now we're done. Now we can put the controller in. You see the chip also fits in here. And then now we just need to put in back the screws, and then we can put back on the cover, turn the scooter around, and switch it already on. So now we're ready to go. First, we will like just like switch it on, and now we need to wait for 90 seconds so that the um, chip can work with the controller and install also the firmware and uh, get everything ready and so we just need to wait the 90 seconds then we switch the scooter off switch it on again so now the 90 seconds are gone and now we will need to turn off the scooter and switch it on again now if uh, for some of you the scooter might not start so then you just need to plug in the charger just wait a moment and then uh, unplug the charger and then the scooter will turn on. Now we're in the original mode, so I will just turn the wheel and there you see it goes 20. Now we just like switch off the scooter and then we enter the secret combination. So it will be eight, time breaks, uh, eight times uh, the brake, eight times the gas and you only have like 60 seconds after starting the scooter. So. Now you already hear the beep. Now the tuning is activated and now I can just turn the wheel. And there you see 31 and you already feel in the way of accelerating how much more this, uh, power the scooter has. And it, you see it worked so easy. So when we just now switch it off, switch it on again, turn the wheel. So we're back to stock. And it's just like fantastic. It works so easy and you've seen like it takes around like five to 10 minutes. So it's also possible to do for everybody. Um, at this point, I would be more than happy if you leave a thumbs up, leave down a sub. I'm really happy if the channel keeps growing like this. And uh, I would also be very happy if you just put down your comments and also your feedback to that chip. What are your experiences with it? And also share some love for the creators of the chip uh, at uh, Alles E-Scooter. They made like a fantastic job and they really support the scene. And from my side, thanks a lot for watching the video. Looking forward to the next video with you. See you next time. Bye.